birthday. <laughs> and they are, um, they were kind of on hiatus for a little while. They are back together. They kick ass, which you will hear. They're going to play for us. Then we will go to interview. So we're going to take, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Fucking kick it. Here you go, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yo, Inverde, greenface.net, buy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
with Genius Rock Shop and Verte. I hope everyone Woo! fucking enjoyed that. That was awesome, guys. Thank you. Fucking thank awesome. You. Now, I have to tell you, when these guys played here at the Rock Shop Clubhouse on Friday night and killed it, because they rock, and then they played on Sunday at uh, the Ronald McDonald um, yeah, benefit show in Sullivan Hall. And killed it there, and I was I was telling them to have a, have a couple of days to get yourself together, but they would not hear it. They had to be here <laughs> on Tuesday. Nonsense. Nonsense, they told me. So I am so honored to have you guys on here. It is my first show back since last year. I'm very happy that we have again SOS Productions. Hands up! Let's give them a big fucking. <laughs> You have been under my nose, I've been at this for a year and a half, and under my nose there you lay, and I've just learned about you, and you have promoted the shit out of me in, in, in three weeks. And I can't even tell you how much Scott and I are very, very thankful about that. I can't tell you how much we're glad that somebody's doing what you're doing. Kind yeah, of exactly. Absolutely. Oh, thank you Especially so much. Especially in our own backyard, so it blows our mind. How did we miss each other? Like, what, what the fuck happened? You're in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> this is <laughs> your, your <laughs> underground club. Like, yeah, of course we didn't find but you. But even still, the magazine, I actually think Scott and I have been out there. You did. did. You did. Yeah. You absolutely yeah. did. But you know, with the magazine, uh, Scott and I have spent numerous hours out and about finding all the bands, getting to know them, getting to know the music, and like I've said on air before, I, as much talking as I've done about what I'm trying to do is as much watching and listening, and how fucked up the scene is, and how it just keeps fueling me on wanting to make a change. And if I, if I don't make a change, whatever, bottom line, I have an idea, I have a vision, and I want it, and all I want to do is help the bands. Now, having this show, because we are live streamed, thanks to SOS Productions here, um, you guys are getting your music, you just played two songs, out to the world. Not just Long Island, not just this country. You are out there to everyone. And we hope you liked it. I'm sure they did, because that kicked ass. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how long has the band been together? Okay, we have a little. We, we have a little. Uh, <laughs> a while. We really want to go. Oh, wow! There we go. Quite some time. Calculator. Quite some time, and I know that you were on hiatus for a while. Five was our first show. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever play Sundance or something like that? That was a little before. That was yeah. before. Oh, when well, this, so now I'm feeling fucking old. All right. <laughs> no, I, think, okay. I don't think we could get in there. Yeah. yeah. We would sneak in at that point. Oh, we okay. played like Club Blue and we played um, the Wrong Way In. The Wrong Way In, which is now no, Village Mode. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Funk Babies. Yeah. No longer exists. And well, what now we lose it was the Village Funk. Okay. They're all over the island, basically. And um, we did the uh, Jones Beach trailer show. I did my homework on you guys, so you had a very nice thing to roll along. Yes. And then, and then we went on a little hiatus. Yes, I got broken. <laughs> I got then, broken. I don't know if rolling on. Yeah, 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 the rolling is right. So I, I just did that on Friday sure. night, actually. I was lucky enough to sit and chat with your mom. Yes. Steve, <laughs> Steve's mom, who I is... Just, I'm you right know right what? Shows. Your mom is amazing. She's an amazing woman. And like I told you that night, any good child comes from good parenting. We both got you fooled. <laughs> you know what? I'll go with that. <laughs> but you know something? Uh, your band actually stood beside you, from what I can see. Yeah, and yeah. it's almost like a Death Leopard, but not Death Leopard story, where they kind of lead it around. I can lead two arms. He's out. There's no such thing. 
you have to, it's either this big fucking monumentous task of like, you know. Do they have the scooter? Yeah. It's the, right, it's the hilariousness of how the world is not designed for you. Or it's like, look at that guy. He's out buying his own socks. You know what I mean? And you're like, dude, it's my fucking socks. Can I just tell you something? I have to interrupt you because um, I, I took someone to the store that needed a scooter. Mm. And I had to go get that scooter for them. And I was just knocking everything down. Yo, everything <laughs> sucks. Like, yes. right but like, I was going to go to the maneuver, and the people were laughing at me, so it was on that alone. Yeah, but just the simple fact of being able to get up and do this. I mean, I was in a wheelchair, period, at first, you know. And they, and they were like, they they weren't going to walk again. again. And I was like, yeah, that's unacceptable, but I'll see that. And he was you like, what? That's what? awesome. <laughs> you know, months, and so months, it is months, what it is. Months. And then people are like, you know, but that adds to everything, you know? Like, how do you have all that energy? Well, Dude, so you look at all the people later. that bitch him on and be like, fucking really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw the voicemail and Steve pulled me up from the hospital and go, Ron, Ron, I just moved my foot. I just moved my foot. Things are moving. Things are happening. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. If you don't want me, I ask what happened. So I, I got in a rollover uh, accident. I was sitting in the back, what we used to call the back back of our SUV. Okay. Right? Place with no seatbelts. Right. Or seats, for that matter. And, uh, we just... Like the station wagon from back in the day. Right, right. We sat in the back. Exactly. Okay, I gotcha. So we were in the back, and uh, I was in the back rather, and, and you know I had my brother and a couple of buddies of mine. We were actually going to uh, to print something. I was getting a tattoo, and we needed to print it out. And like, like on the way to the library at like four o'clock, and he had it's like the most wholesome thing you could possibly fucking imagine. <laughs> and then uh, we rolled over a couple of times, and like did someone hit you? No, nah, we just like almost missed the, the kid almost missed the exit. Came a little hard, came off the road, and it just like dug in and rolled. And, like the first one, I, I like followed around like a gerbil. And I was like, holy shit, I can do this. And then it was like, boom, boom. And I just curled up. And then I woke up. And like, you know, we did a roll call. And they were like, yeah, well, we did that. Like, we got glad to hear you around. Well, you know, I got to tell you, I have a huge world. amount of respect. I, I think I, I said this to you on an on a email via Facebook. But I had a lot of respect for your bands before I knew that story. <laughs> I have a tremendous amount of respect for all of you that you stood by him. And you are an amazing band who has what I feel. I've seen a lot of bands, I get CDs all the time, I hear them. You, you are in a long haul. You have that something, whatever that thing is. Yeah, I don't know what it is either, but it seems that it's. Irresponsibility. Whatever that thing is, you've got it, and it you've already true. proved that you Black have. You have integrity and, and genuine qualities, and you stuck together as a band. And you, from what I understand, you got back together because someone asked you to do benefit. Yes. Yes. And you got back together, and I guess that old something was there, and it just swapped it all and made you want it. I honestly, right. to be honest with you, I didn't think I could do it. Don't and you yeah. don't question it. Just go. I didn't think we could do it. I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> now, yeah, we hadn't played it at that point. It was like ten years. Like you nine, had, oh, nine, nine, whatever. It was a long time we had not played, and um, uh, this is such a great feeling. Yo, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. and so my uh, friend of ours uh, has had cancer, and um, and his leg, whatever, young kid, and um, so they were trying to raise some money, and my brother was like, listen, you know, what do you think about playing? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm old and married, I got kids, and I'm crippled. And he was like, I'm, old are you? I'm 35. Oh, good I'm lord, you're going on 90. Really? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, seriously. So, uh, years old. Yeah. My brother was like, well, I kind of already sold it. Why don't we take it to my sister and call me? I was like, like oh, oh, he got us back together. Great. Great. He reached out to us individually yeah. and set it all up. God works in mysterious. You're really never going to get Maggie Tom Murphy. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't get Maggie Tom Murphy. He wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave the lunch. Well, I have to say, I, I, I don't know which one of you contacted me first, but I was in a little bit of a lurch. Needed someone to, was it Dan? Yeah, that I needed someone to fill in, and you guys jumped on the show last minute. I think, you know, we had 25, 30 people here on Friday night, but I will tell you the one thing that I'm trying to, to start again. You all didn't grow up in the 80s, so, but I did. And what I loved back in the day was we opened up and up to new music. We went to Sundays or wherever because we knew they were going to have great music. It didn't matter if we knew what band was playing. It was a new band and we didn't give a shit. It was going to be new music. Right. Now, on Friday, you played with Breakage Rising and H2H, two fucking awesome bands. Awesome, awesome band, yeah. And what I watched as I stood behind the bar and what I watched was that 
you got to know two new bands as bandmates, and I saw a respect being given amongst all of you, and the fan base you brought here that night and the fan base they did, everybody was just, the vibe in the place here was amazing, I thought. That was my, not yeah. just saying because it's my place. I just, I thought the vibe was intense, and it, it could have been 10 people here, and I wouldn't give a shit. I thought everybody had a good time because it was just a fun night. You know what I'm saying? There was no fucking drama bullshit. There was, everybody was kind of on the same page, and everybody had a mutual respect for each other, and that's what I'm trying to give back. Or start, or research, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But that's, and you guys helped me do that, and I'll, I'll, I'm eternally grateful. Yo, to everybody watching, this place is a kick ass. This place is a kick ass. Come down. Come down. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> 
That's a story, another different story. God, what was your influence? I mean, I had a lot. It was weird. Growing up, I was all into metal, and I used to read, like, Imperator, Metal Edge, well, your magazine was awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. It's not happening. But I mean, it varies. You know, for playing, it's Iron Maiden, Steve Harris, and oh. Megadeth, and Dave Ellison. Those guys are huge influences on me. Steve Harris is my god. He's a uh, pretty godly god. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of everything. I mean, I listen to death metal. I listen to like Ani DeFranco. I really don't care. If it's good. I listen to it. Okay. I like that all around. And what, what's your influence as I, a singer? As a singer, funny enough, like I listen, like I said, with dancing. I, I listen from anything from Benny Goodman to Slayer. Okay. And, um, I liked a lot of the uh, old, like the older hip hop or. I'm first generation hip hop, I can say it, right? So no, like, no, we're no, also no. like, yes. almost Grandmaster Flash and like, okay. Furious Five and Sugar Hill Gang, Sugar Hill Gang, Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah. Run DMC, yeah. MC, yeah. Public Enemy, the Beastie Boys, <laughs> when they were still doing hardcore shows, you know, um, just like all of that shit together, and like, you know, your Faith No More, your Megadeth, your, and it's just so varied, and at the same thing, I, you know, my grandfather would, uh, would come over and burn it, you know, he'd give him tapes of, uh, Benny Goodman and stuff, and, and I could, what, and I could listen to this dude playing a clarinet and being like, "Fuck, oh, that would rock if it was just like, you know, <laughs> like how do you tune down to a clarinet? Can you do that shit? Like, and, and you start thinking weirdness, you know what I mean? And, and then one day, I, I, I played guitar originally uh, with the band, okay. I know, not well. <laughs> but, Did uh, you have a different singer? Or you played guitar. We had a different band? singer, okay. and then we had a show. And um, it didn't go well. well, he just decided to not come. <laughs> and they were like, we need to sing. And been, we need a singer. And everyone went, Steve, you're up. And I was like, ah. Uh, and that was like two or three bands before. Yeah. Yeah. We all yeah, started yeah, trying to trick. That was three of us. All learned how to play together. Okay, so how long has the band been together? Verde's been together, or just five years? Verde. Verde's been together since 1995. Wow, that's so kind of broke away from like a bunch of friends we had that were all kind of stuck in the classic rock thing. Yeah. And okay. Kind of wanted to do something, believe it or not, more punk rock than anything. Okay, I like I've that. I've evolved to where it's at now. There's I was a CBGB's girl. I like that. That yeah. works for me. We like, to, we like to keep everything, we like to keep everyone on their toes. Kind of thing. Yeah, that's right? Because like you see some bands and like, I mean they're good, they're playing, they're awesome. It's like, you know, and then you're like, okay. Four bars in, in, four bars in, four bars in, four on the whole song. You're like, all right, here's the break, right. here's the chorus, they're going to scream, they're going to whine, they're going right. to scream again, and it's going to be over. Right, and then here comes the solo. Like you said, you're going to you know what? That's great, because that's exactly man. what my head does. Yo, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of like, because uh, like, right. at that point, if you already know, it's, it's like watching a horror movie, and you know it's going to happen. Right. So you're kind of like, yeah, this is the part where the dude jumps out. You know what I mean? We like to have a dude jump out fucking constantly. You know you're right? entertaining. Yeah. Very entertaining. <laughs> it's you're all these. You, you're jumping yeah. around all over there doing your thing. You have an amazing drum set, so. Yeah! It doesn't work. And I have to say, I had not, again, Friday was the first time I got to see you guys. And I, I'll tell you, the again, the vibe in the place was everybody was paying attention. So that's all you can ask for as a band. That's all you want. Yeah. Everyone's chit really chatting want. and what? whatever. You hit the stage, all of a sudden there's quietness and everyone's paying attention. You've done your job. Well, that's just they didn't really like us. I think they're just like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> you know what? Out. That's it. That's Yo, and you know what? That's true because there's not there's not a single show that we've done recently. Like we we played matches in Brooklyn. Um, Semi recently, right? Like what, March? March, yeah, a couple, yeah, months, a couple months ago. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a hipster joint. And all the bands are playing, and everyone's Ex kind of on the side really of the wall, and they're all like. Just chilling, texting. Like, there's some shit. <laughs> and then we went on stage, and everyone's just like. Who's this? <laughs> like, whoever that chick was texting, that motherfucker waited for a response. Or whatever, but like that's kind of the point. You know what I'm saying? It's kind Some of the point. point low. Yeah, and I get great parking again. You. <laughs> so it helps too. But like that's the whole point. Is to keep you get one of those Oh, you can't have it. <laughs> but I will tell you, you have you have the voice, the voice, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Really? It is. It grips you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I sing like I do because I can't sing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you know something. 
That's another thing. You guys are so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're so authentic and genuine. No, no, it's a good one. You're so genuine and humble. That's the word I'm looking for. You're very humble, but I have news for you. I can tell you that you are better than you think you are. That's cool. I see great things in your future. <laughs>
demands, again, and I've said this before, so this is no news, not a death metal person. No. <laughs> you take the vocals out all day long. But, um, okay, I'm being told 50 minutes so far. We'll wrap it up. <laughs> See, Eric, I put you on the spotlight there. <laughs> He's glaring at me, people. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? Do we have anything else? What do we have any up and coming shows? Oh, uh, well, we are in a contest to play Jones Beach. Yes, the Battle of the No, the Battle of the Bands, right? Yes, yes. Up which I posted. Up Raw Festival, leaksongreenface.net. 73.4% you're at right now. Yeah, yeah we're almost, we're almost at. We're a half a percent. What do you have to get to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not helpful. 100%. 100 <laughs> get us 100%. 100 you're at this show. Everybody go. Listen, you'll be on my Facebook tonight, everybody vote. And there's a couple of songs on there that are not released yet. We, uh, we did one tonight, that was more. That's up on the site, so you can, that's the only place you can hear it right now. Actually, there's another place, but I'm not telling you where it is. And, well, uh, that's not fun. What do you call it? Um, so yeah, that's not even out yet, so check check out the songs too. And, um, and just another thing, everyone that's listening, you heard us all talking about the scene and how hard it is and blah, blah, blah. If everybody that liked the band and was like, hey, these guys are good, just did something, like bought a fucking CD or showed up to a show, literally, that's all it fucking takes to get the scene back to what it... To, For everybody. To, 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 Amen. To everybody. I have to put my right. drink down that is literally and fucking clap it down. Get the fuck out of your house and go see the band. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have had so people like, tell me that the scene is dead. Meanwhile, they say, tell me that while they sit on the couch. That's what I'm saying. Really? Yo, man, the scene's totally sure. dead. And I'm like, bro, there's a fucking warehouse in Ron Compton that's jamming right now. <laughs> Thank you. Like, Thank are you so shitting me? You know I'm what I mean? Just some bands. Yo, just check out some bands. Those bands. Even if they suck, <laughs> throw shit at them. Exactly. It's a good <laughs> fucking no, 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 I'm down with that. If you suck, throw shit at them. Especially if it's money. I'll suck all <laughs> fucking day. Just throw money. Like, no, whatever. No, no, no gold, please. No, yeah, no gold. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, so our website is greenface.net. And as far as uh, Five merch! Yeah, we, we have some shirts coming, it's not on the site yet, it'll be there soon, I fucking promise. I better get a shirt. And uh, yeah, I did get, get a shirt. You know what? These the guys the These guys were so nice, they signed the shirt and then made me sign it and it's up it's up by the uh, donation bar area. And uh, I, you know what you guys? It's just lazy man's merch right there. It is, yeah. it is. But you know what's so The best you could do, Verde. 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 Yeah. And every time I said that, you want It was almost like you do. Verde. 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 We'll be putting our new stuff on there, all the merch will be on there. And, um, and just so you guys know, out. and all the bays now, in my magazine, because everyone knows about the magazine now, I have a merch, oh, we have nothing. Oh, yeah. That's like the graphics department. <laughs> Website address. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. So also, Facebook, work. Twitter, Facebook and Twitter. We're all over the place, but Facebook, Twitter, and Reverb Nation are a major, major thing. Now, will you guys clean my clubhouse again? Absolutely. Fantastic. With one, three days. Awesome. Look at what we did in three days. What's that? I know what. Not today. Not today. You guys saved my ass. I have to thank you. You did. You guys saved my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Rock up. Look, yeah, there it is. Now in the magazine, for all the bands, I have do if anyone remembers the parade the circus, we bought out posters, out t-shirts, whatever from the merch page. Well, in Gene World, we have the merch page, no, nope, all the way to the end. That's all right, all right though. <laughs> Just say it. Yeah!